working on this. <coughs> uh, the objective uh, objectives of uh, cognitive radio first, uh, they uh, they want to uh, communicate together without uh, interfer uh, interference uh, to the primary user. Um, and the uh, uh, second one is to uh, sufficiently identify and ex exploit the spectrum holes for uh, required uh, throughput and quality of service. <coughs> In sensing problem, uh, we have uh, some issue of uh, uh, shadowing, uh, fading, and uh, receiver uncertainty problem. Uh, multi fading is something happened uh, here between cognitive radio 2 and cognitive uh, radio 3. Uh, maybe we have something here that uh, affects the uh, communication between these two. Shading is uh, something like uh, this building that's it's uh, this uh, CR is in the shadow of this building, and we have something like the um, reflect of the <coughs> uh, transmitter that uh, the CRs receive. That maybe this frequency is different from the original frequency that uh, it's available. Uh, why we want to co uh, cooperation in the uh, cognitive radio? Uh, first of all, uh, if uh, we have a, uh, a only one CR, it's uh, it's uh, obvious that uh, this uh, sensor can has uh, can uh, sense the environment wrong because uh, the problem that before I said uh, by cooperation we want to uh, have an observation that. Uh, especially uh, distributed in the uh, environment and based on this uh, sensing we want to um, est better estimation of the uh, existence of the primary user and better uh, detection and hopefully faster and more accurate. Here we have uh, uh, two parts in cooperation. Uh, first, uh, when we are uh, speaking uh, and we are thinking about the cooperation, we want to uh, 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 determine the performance uh, performance of uh, cooperation. And second one, but, uh, we want to know about the overhead. Uh, for example, extra sensing time, delay, more energy, uh, and uh, for example, any uh, performance uh, degradation in um, in the areas that we have the correlated shadowing or uh, some uh, security attacks. Uh, most of my uh, research will be in the area of the uh, comparing the uh, gain and the overhead of different methods in the. Uh, cooperation in cooperative Here we have uh, three main questions. First, uh, what is the method of uh, cooperation? Second one, what is the gain of each uh, method? And what is overhead of the methods? Uh, here is the definition of the problem. We have a, uh, it's X of T, it's a signal that we sense. It can be two hypotheses. Uh, first, it's only the noise, white noise of the sensing, and second one, it's the uh, uh, it's a secondary user after the function of the environment plus noise. And we can define the probability of detection based on the <coughs> decision that we uh, be thinking that uh, this sensing is the. Uh, it's a hypothesis of exist of the primary user, given it is true, and uh, in the false alarm, we thinking about uh, uh, we think this area is occupied, but uh, it's not really 
of one. And the uh, probability of misdetection is one minus probability of detection. Okay, uh, cooperation in uh, good literature can uh, divide it in. Okay. But it only detects the second integer, and if you have only two hypotheses, yeah. how about the primary? Uh, no, uh, all other things about the primary user. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think the primary user. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I can. So primary user do the do the detection. No, primary user only send because it's a license and everyone knows. For example, this frequency is for for example TV. For example, and we want to use this frequency when the TV does not use that frequency, and we want to communicate on that band. And after that, for example, sensing when the TV again start to sending something, we want to stop and use another bond, and it can be used for dynamic example. spectrum management, right? Mm, something like this, yeah. Uh, and and here, the detection uh, S of T uh, is not really for primary user. It's uh, it's occupy bands. For example, maybe if you have uh, multiple secondary user and multiple primary user and we want to uh, find all of them and find the whole and we use the whole of the frequency to communicate together okay uh, cooperation can be divided in the three parts centralized distributed and play assist Before uh, explain the, I think these two slides are this. Uh, before explain about the centralized distributed and uh, relay assist, I want to explain the type of channel. We have two type of channel. Uh, first uh, is the sensing channel, the channel that we want to communicate together, and we have another channel. It's reporting channel. It can be a reserve channel to communicate, and also it can be a dynamic channel. But uh, every user in the network must be aware about the reporting channel. Uh, we have three types of the cooperation. First of all, uh, centralized cooperation. In the centralized cooperation, we have a, a, a fusion center. A fusion center uh, is made, for example, all of the CRs sense the environment and send the um, it's sensing data or uh, sensing decision to the uh, fusion center and fusion center based on some route uh, um, decide about the uh, whole areas and again inform the cognitive radius to uh, change the frequency and modulation uh, to that certain band. Uh, In the uh, distributed cooperation, uh, we don't have any uh, fusion center for decision making, and the CRs try to communicate together and find the unified decision after some iteration, maybe, and try to communicate on the some bands. It can be some uh, uh, one. It's it, it's the uh, distributed algorithm that, for example. Each of the cognitive users can send out sensing data to another user. After that, combine this data with the received data from the uh, its neighbors or all of the uh, users. And after that, uh, decide about the existence of the primary user in some frequency or not, and send uh, its own decision again through the uh, network and uh, repeat. Uh, this until uh, all of them or uh, until it's converged because it's unnecessary to have the same decision in all of the network. In the uh, uh, last, uh, last category of cooperation, uh, uh, we are thinking about that this um, sensing 
channel and reporting channel are not perfect uh, it's, it is possible to for example we have some user that uh, that have a uh, some users that have uh, good observation but uh, they don't have uh, a strong report channel and also we can have uh, some users that are strong in the sense uh, strong in the report channel and weak in the uh, sensing channel and <coughs> on uh, uh, in this uh, type of cooperation we try to find a head of some group and the head is uh, some CR that uh, has uh, a perfect reporting channel and all of the uh, CRs in the group try to send their uh, sensing to the uh, for example head and after that head send it to a f uh, fusion center okay as before I said uh, cooperation steps is local sensing after that uh, reporting and after reporting we need to some uh, data fusion to make decision about the uh, what we sense elements of uh, cooperation uh, we have some elements like uh, cooperation models sensing techniques hypothesis test, uh, uh, testing uh, control channel and reporting data fusion user selection and knowledge base I will be through all of them uh, cooperation model uh, it's uh, a model that describes uh, how the CR user uh, cooperate together uh, this corporate uh, this uh, model uh, can be a parallel fusion uh, network model it means all of the uh, CRs can send and uh, in parallel the network uh, mix all of the data and uh, decide about the state of the primary user users and maybe in the end of uh, this presentation I uh, will uh, explain a game theoretical model of uh, uh, cooperation uh, sensing techniques it's about the how we can uh, ob uh, observe the samples uh, hypothesis uh, testing uh, it can be done um, individually but uh, by each of uh, CRs or it can be performed in the uh, fusion center for example all of the CRs sent all of the data to the fusion center and fusion center based on the sensing data try to uh, find the uh, frequency of the primary user so the primary user actually has the initial access to that particular bandwidth right yeah and then if, if he's not using it then the other secondary users try to gain that yeah. and if he comes back you have to lease it back to him yeah. okay. and about the control channel and reporting uh, concern it's about uh, how the sensing result can be efficiently and reliably reported to the uh, fusion center and it, it, there, there is some uh, things like bandwidth limitation and uh, failing uh, uh, sus susceptible control channel okay and in the uh, data fusion it's a, a process of the combining the reports and shared sensing result uh, it can be a uh, signal combining uh, techniques if we uh, send the uh, sensing data and it can be decision fusion rules if we send only the decision we will, I will speak more about that later and user selection it's about uh, for example control the size of the group that uh, cooperate together and we want to select some users to maximize the uh, gain and minimize the overhead and maybe based on some security issue we try to uh, omit some of the 
uh, user sensing data or decisions. And in the knowledge base, we store the information uh, um, of sensing, and it helps us to have the, for example, profile of the primary user, and if we uh, find some sensing data, we can um, use it as the priori, uh, prior knowledge uh, to improve the result of the sensing. Okay. In uh, cooperation uh, models, uh, uh, I can say that it's two part. First part is parallel. It's uh, uh, focused and emphasized about the sensing part. The in this model, the uh, first one, um, we want to improve the result of the sensing. But in the game theory, uh, theoretical models, we try to improve the uh, cooperation part. It's two different ones. For example, we sense something and we want to improve uh, our sensing based on the cooperation between the nodes. But the, it, in the first one, we try to use the, uh, we try to improve the result of the sensing uh, uh, without grouping or something like this. Uh, okay. the, sorry, the cooperation is more to use the line, right? But the cooperation here is more on how to use the line, right? Rather than sensing the step, what you're trying to uh, Yes. So in, in, in first one, we want to, uh, for example... See whether there's a free uh, band. Yeah. Any, and then after you do that, then you cooperate between three, four users to use that band, right? Yeah, something like this. And sensing, but uh, sensing uh, technique can be divided in the uh, wide band or narrow band, and uh, it can be co uh, coherent or non coherent. In the coherent, you have some prior knowledge about, the, for example, the value of noise, uh, the, uh, the power of the primary user, and the distance maybe between the uh, users, distance between secondary user distance between secondary and primary users and the number of the primary users something like this. Uh, some uh, sensing techniques uh, are, for example, uh, energy detection, uh, cyc uh, cyc uh, cyclostationary feature detection, and compressed sensing. In the in energy detection, it uh, has some disadvantage. For example, like long time for sensing, it's uh, uh, very dependent on the, uh, the ratio of the noise and uh, in the energy detection we cannot dis distinguish between primary user and uh, secondary user. And in the uh, cyclostation and feature detection, it's, it has high computational uh, complexity and again long uh, sensing time. and. In the sensing technique with the compressed sensing, we have some problem with the hardware because we need to uh, have a good random matrix to sense the environment that it's not easy to reach. In the hypothesis sensing, uh, it can be in the three part binary hypothesis test, uh, sensing and composite uh, hypothesis uh, testing and uh, sequential testing in the binary it is the ratio of uh, of the probability that we have the uh, primary user uh, the probability of the sensing data is the primary user to the probability of sensing data is uh, is not and based on the threshold we decide that is uh, uh, we have the primary user or not in some frequency and uh, in the composite hypothesis testing it's uh, 
it's a, a linear combination of uh, some hypotheses uh, and in the sequ in sequential testing we have uh, more than one threshold for example we have two, uh, two threshold if the uh, the value of uh, big lambda is bigger is less than uh, for example lambda zero we decide that we don't have uh, primary user if it's between for example lambda zero and lambda one we need to more sensing data and if it's bigger than uh, for example lambda one it shows we have the primary user and it's improved the um, for example result of, uh, result of the sensing and uh, uh, less timing of sensing okay and in the control uh, channel uh, we need to think uh, first bandwidth and second one is reliability in the bandwidth um, we want to reduce the unnecessary re uh, reporting and uh, uh, and the usage of the uh, channel and it can be uh, fi uh, fix, uh, fixed bands or dy uh, dynamics dynamic band and uh, in reliability requirement in some papers they assume that the control uh, control channel is uh, error free it's perfect but in some of the paper most of the paper they think it's perfect but in some of the papers they assume that we have some noise uh, and some shadowing and fading on the channel uh, one of the uh, one, another part of the uh, cooperation is a uh, data fusion. It uh, can be divided into three parts: soft combining, combining, quantized soft combining, and hard combining. In, this, in soft combining, uh, all of the local uh, test uh, data uh, sent to the fusion center, and it's a uh, create the best result. The method uh, I mentioned two of method and in the quantized so, uh, soft combining we combine the uh, uh, quantized data uh, of each uh, CR and in the hard combining each user based on the uh, what it sends uh, send the decision and we try to merge the decision based on the rule of AND or, or uh, majority, for example, K of N, to combine the data. It's need, uh, it, this, the last method needs less channel bandwidth, but the result has more uncertainty. Uh, user selection. Uh, we know that the independent uh, CR's user for cooperation can improve the robustness of sensing result, and uh, we need to remove uh, some user that is not really user that maybe it's uh, some hacker try to uh, create some node, uh, nodes in the system and uh, move the. Uh, all of the network to some high frequency or more spend, uh, spending power and something like this and we want to find um, the, uh, the best user to use uh, their sensing data to decision based on uh, decision for cognitive radio here we have uh, two types of methods centralized uh, centralized selection and cluster based selection uh, in the uh, cluster based uh, selection we try to cluster the data uh, and cluster the users uh, uh, cluster users for example random clustering uh, reference based clustering and uh, statistical uh, clustering or distance based clustering based of the problem that we define in the environment and in the uh, centralized selection we 
use uh, an, an, an algorithm to minimize the cooperation uh, measure uh, among uh, among the CRs based on some GDD approaches or uh, try to select uncorrelated uh, user based on their uh, distance. And in the knowledge base, the rules is to uh, enhance the detection performance based on uh, accumulated uh, knowledge and uh, learned experience and uh, try to uh, reduce the complexity of sensing. Um, maybe we can uh, store some uh, profile of the user in the database and then we see some uh, signature of some primary user, we can easily uh, find the frequency band of them. Okay. Uh, all of the uh, methods for uh, cooperation has some gain and some overhead gain means we can improve the result of the sensing or uh, uh, the result of sensing, uh, the accurate sensing, but it has some overhead, for example, uh, the sensing time uh, and the delay uh, uh, on uh, each method uh, is uh, different from the another method. And here we have some issues, for example, number of the samples, it means, for example, uh, how much time we spend to uh, collect the samples, and based on this, we make a decision. Also, we can have some collision in the report channel because uh, it's due to synchronization, and uh, in the relay model, uh, I said before, we we, have, we need to spend more time, for example, the head of the sound group sent first uh, its, its data and after that uh, needs to time to send the group data of another CR on that group. And I put some start here, it means, for example, this issue really uh, nobody works to solve it and it need to uh, more research on that and in the channels we have something uh, uh, multi pass fading and shadowing and uh, especially correlated uh, shadowing and uh, we want to we know that uh, if we have a small number of CRs that uh, it's uh, expand in the large distance, it's maybe more efficient that we have a large number of uh, CRs that are close together. And based on this, we want to uh, uh, select the user that uh, they are not uh, correlated. In uh, energy efficiency, we try to uh, censor some users set to some of them to be sleeping for some period of the time and uh, find the uh, optimal sensing time and opti uh, optimal number of uh, CRs that can cooperate together and also in efficiency we need to uh, schedule of the sensing because uh, you know for example in some period of the time the primary user can change off to on and we must have the uh, scheduling for sensing uh, for all of the cognitive radio and uh, in the uh, distributed uh, cooperate, uh, uh, cooperation we need to uh, find the speed of converge because uh, before uh, uh, converge we uh, don't have any time to uh, transmitting and receiving the data and all, all of the time must be spent for only sensing and find the hole and for example if you have a 
tea time for all of the thing and most of the time spent for the only sensing and find the hole we don't have enough time to uh, s s send and receive the data and uh, also we have something about uh, primary user mobility, uh, mobility and secondary user mobility and it can be used for for example military service military and uh, something in the depend on the And the security, we want uh, to find the anomaly detection in the uh, between the nodes, and we have some type of the attack uh, in the network. And the, for example, node capture attack is an uh, open area for research, and uh, we have some problem in the void uh, band sensing because most of the CRs don't have uh, much power or they don't have uh, expens expensive uh, hardware and um, sensing the wide band it's hard and try to divide the wide band to some narrow band and estimate it and uh, sense it in the period of the time and after that try to merge the uh, sensing data and find what's the hole and it's need to uh, a lot of time and uh, if you have any question okay. let me go to uh, example of uh, uh, one example of uh, it, that is in the paper in the name of Collision Games for Distributed co uh, Collaborative Spectrum Sensing. Uh, here the S square is the primary user and the circles are secondary user. And uh, we have, for example, uh, which is the primary user? Uh, this one, primary user. Oh, okay. And it's, for example, the area of it, I don't know. The maybe area of coverage? Yeah. For example, it's a 3 kilometer to 3 kilometer. Uh -huh. And we have some bird, some... What's uh, the number? The number of the CRs. CR1, 2, 3. Yeah. And the okay. red one? Red one is uh, the centralized uh, grouping and the blue line, it's uh, distributed. For example, if based on sending some data to some neighbor, we try to uh, create some group. And uh, this is the result of uh, distribution, distributed method, and this is a centralized method, red one. Okay, and before that, let me, uh, this is the uh, function. This is a Q of DS, it means the uh, probability of uh, detection in the subset S, for example here, 3 and 5, and this, this is the cost of false detection in this group, and we, uh, in, the, in the paper they uh, define C as this function is something like this, and alpha here is the ratio of uh, ex uh, acceptance of, for example, we have some ratio for is accepted to be, for example, we have 0.05% uh, 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 false detection. And they try to uh, use this cost function as minus alpha squared log 1 minus uh, uh, probability of, um, of false detection in the set S over alpha. And this is the, uh, the shape of this function, as you can see, if we uh, go near to 0 0.1, it goes to infinity, and after 0 0.1, it is, is equal to infinity, and it's, um, for example, courage of all, uh, all, courage all of the CRs to go b uh, before 0 0.1, and this one it is. Yeah. So 
what is alpha again? Yeah, yeah uh, alpha is the uh, threshold of, uh, for example, uh, false station. Okay. We can accept, for example, if uh, this system has a less than 0.1 percent of false detection. So it's basically the the uh, utility function of the detection minus its cost, right? Yeah, cost cost of false detection, and we want to maximize the. I think it's, the Q is the amount of happiness he gets when he detects, more or less like the happiness function, right? Yeah. So he, he gets that minus the cost incurred by doing that particular action. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so Q is a probability. I'm sorry. Q, yeah. Okay. Q is a probability. Q thing. is uh, yes. That's yeah. Because uh, I think there it's one minus Q m comma s, right? Yeah. So QBS is basically 1 minus Q and comma S. Yeah. Maybe it's a probability or something. Q is probability, yeah. Probability of misdetection QM will S is the probability of misdetection. Uh, QDS is probability of detection. And QFS is probability of false detection. And do you know why it follows that particular function? I mean, how, how did they arrive at this particular function for the cost? Really, uh, I'm very interested to find that, but they said it's experimental. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's for example, they want a function that uh, after the threshold of the false. Oh, okay, okay. That happens. I mean, there's a huge cost to that. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. And they find, for example, this function is good. Maybe if uh, somebody try a, another cost function, they got a different result, but they use this one. And here, the green one is the uh, result of sensing, if we don't have any co uh, cooperative sensing. Red one is the uh, centralized solution. It's the mathematical uh, mathematics of the problem, for example, what is the probability of false detection if we uh, collect all of the data? And the blue one is the simulated data that uh, shows the result of the, uh, for example, in the left, it shows the probability of uh, missing, and in the right, it's the probability of false alarm, as you can see. And the one of the excess is the number of the uh, secondary user. For example, if we have a lot of uh, secondary users, what happened to the probability of the detection of the prim uh, primary user? We have only one primary user here. And uh, here, another example for movements. In this example, uh, the CR1 try to move in this direction. And here it's the movement, for example, from this point it's something, for example, uh, 0.75 and uh, it goes to, uh, in this direction, and goes near to the 7 and here you can see the probability of uh, uh, utility function of secondary user, it goes down if, for example, this blue line uh, it's a distributed uh, uh, distributed uh, algorithm for finding the group. If uh, one goes this direction, it goes bigger and bigger. And uh, it's uh, in this point, the uh, uh, one, two, and uh, four splits to two group, two, one, and six, one, two, four, and six, one. It's two blue line something like this and after for example around 1.3 they change to 1.7 and 2.46 one group and this two one group and uh, keep the 
utility function uh, of all of the CRs in the more than uh, around, uh, uh, I think, 98. Yeah. 98, yeah. The seven move? Right. No. Seven, two, six, four, three, five are fixed, and only one moves in, the, in this direction. So it's basically the, the color codes are with the various, the correlations with various uh, secondary users? Yeah. Because then, right, it shows that, uh, let's say SEO6, the, the one in the last. This one? Yeah. Okay. So SEO6, it also moves, right? Oh, it does, does it move? No, it's fixed. But uh, 6 is in the, in the group of 1 and 6. Okay. And if 6. If six is fixed here and one start to goes in this direction, oh, its utility is also dependent. Yeah, okay. it just goes down because these two uh, are uh, became uh, became uh, more. Uh, they form a coalition. Yeah, both. and after, for example, one point three, uh, this three makes a one group, and one and seven make it change the uh, groups and goes to one group. And three and five always fixed in that way. Okay. Any question? Do you know what kind of software they use for the simulations? I uh, know they did not say anything, but uh, I think it's uh, offline. They just do. I don't know. Okay. They did not say.